When rendering with Lightworks in ArchiCAD, there are a few things to take note of that will make your renderings look nicer with very little effort. Firstly, if your computer has dual processors, this is the only area of ArchiCAD that will take full advantage of that extra speed. So in other words, in a Lightworks rendering only, within ArchiCAD, if you have two processors, your rendering will render twice as fast. Secondly, internal and external renderings should be treated slightly differently. With external renderings, you should always use the Lightworks lights available in the library. They can be found under the lamp and under the Lightworks lights. Always use the sky object and the sun object. Next, make sure you turn the sun and the camera light in the photo render settings off. Whenever you're rendering, I always go up to the top toolbar, right mouse click and push the 3D visualization button and then we have all the buttons that, or shortcuts that are associated with the rendering window pop up and they're easy to access. So in the photo rendering settings, which is that button there, always turn the sun off and the camera light off. These tend to interfere with the lamps that we place ourselves onto the floor plan. On an interior rendering, I always put the ambient light from 100%, which is the default, up to either 200 or 250, and you can play around with these settings yourself. In internal renderings, always place the Lightworks window lights, which can be found in the lamp tool right there, and place as many lights as you would in the proposed room. So. Also, if there are windows in the room to let light in from the outside, make sure you've got the sky object and sun object still placed in your plan. Using these tools, it's very easy to get good results straight from ArchiCAD. I've set up a little bathroom scene here, and I've placed a sky object and a sun object on the outside, and on the window, I've put a corresponding window light. Even on the door, I've placed a window light and also I've got another window over here and I've placed another window light there. If I go to the 3D environment, once in the 3D window I always like to be able to see where the lights are casting a shadow and the effect or range of each of the lights. So let's say for example I've selected this lamp or light here. If I go to the light dialog box and open that up we'll see that under the light settings I've got light, I've got the show light cone. With this turned on, it gives me a wireframe of the range of each of those lights. And once again, if I check the light show light cone button there, we can't see anything here, but if I push OK, we'll be able to see the actual range of that downlight. I could turn them all on by pushing Apple F, find and select, I can also choose lamps, choose the name, choose the recess spot, push OK, push plus, and with the recess spot selected, I can open that up and turn all the light cones. Now I can see the range of all of those lights. Once we've got all that set up, even the window light, we can change the quality of the window light by adding a high resolution to the light. And I'm just going to leave that. Now that we've got the scene set up in the 3D window, if I go to the photo rendering settings, and if I was to turn the ambient light down to, say, 100, and I pushed OK, if I photo rendered that now, we find that the ceiling is a little bit dark. So if I just close that, go back to the photo rendering settings and turn the ambient light back up to 250 and if I render it again, we'll find that the ceiling should be quite a bit nicer. And now we can see the result of that and we can see that the ceiling is quite nicely lit. Some other things that have made this image a bit nicer is that we've spent a bit of time choosing the right materials. You could make a whole DVD about making nice renderings, 
Here I've just glossed over some of the basics. When talking about rendering, we could actually dedicate a whole DVD just to creating nicer renderings. In fact, on the Archicad Tutorials website, Medi has already created a fantastic product called Professional Rendering, and this goes right into how to create fantastic renderings going through every setting and every dialogue and giving you a very thorough understanding of how to create nice renderings. So over here, I'm just glossing over it. The other thing which I've done here, if I go back to the 3D window, is the materials that we've chosen. And I touch on this on the materials movie on this DVD. But we can see that the material is actually glass. And to create that glass material, rather than just using the glass that comes standard with Archicad, if you go to Options, Material, and if I select the glass there, make sure I'm on the Lightworks Rendering Engine, and Load Settings from Archives. There's a number of different archives here. Cho just choosing the Essentials, under Materials, Crystals and Glass, transparent we've got glass there or even under ray tracing under material crystals and glass reflective and I've chosen the cool solar cool glass I push OK and I've just used that so I'm just going to push cancel and just by spending a bit of bit of time on the materials as long as you get all the lights OK you it's a pretty safe bet you'll be able to come up with a very nice rendering. And when creating an external rendering, we do the same thing. We make sure that we've got a nice sky object there. And I've also increased the resolution here and the long longitude resolution to 10. And cast shadows, shadow soft, shadow quality 4. We can go up to 5. We push OK with the sun object. Same thing, make sure we've got in the number of light sources, the more lights there are, the better the quality of rendering. So if I push OK there, now if I just go to the 3D window, then once we've got a nice angle on the building, we open our photo render settings and make sure we've got the Lightworks rendering engine selected. I'm just sizing this to the same as the 3D window. I've got reflection transparency all turned on, I've got the sun turned off and the camera, the light camera turned off also. I'm not going to touch any of this other stuff and I'm just going to push OK and then push the photo render button. And here's the result of that rendering with only a skylight, sky object, a couple of materials selected and as we can see it's a very nice rendering. And to make it even brighter, what we could do is place some window lights on the windows that would light up inside the window. As you can see, it's very easy to create a nice rendering using the Lightworks rendering engine.